be coming back for that here soon. Gotta do some other chores first. <laughs> So fed this, fed this group here, uh, for any of you new viewers here, these 42 calves are calves I raised on the bottle. Um, they are now, I don't know, probably an average of 550 pounds. And you can see they're out here on pasture, but they also get supplemented with feed every day just to try to help them grow a little bit. Um, yeah, they're... You can see this guy here making a sucking noise. That brownish one there. Uh, he found, he created a new bad habit, which is trying to suck on other calves while they're eating grain. And whenever he gets grain in his mouth, he also sucks like he's sucking on a bottle, which he's not, so. Uh, bad habit for him, he doesn't really eat grain anymore because he sits there and does that the whole time. Uh, not any health problem, just he's, He's weird, so. Um, anyway, these guys are fun to have around. I enjoy it, so. Anyway, while these guys are fed, I gotta feed two other groups, and we'll get to it. So apparently when I dropped my camera, I didn't realize that these calves were actually uh, coming out of the gate, so. Uh, they escaped, I didn't know it. Um, now it's time to, time to turn around, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. And this type for here, she's more of a pet, so she's kind of in to drive, but... Come on, hey, come on. You guys missed out on grain this morning. You're too busy trying to escape. I will say, having docile calves makes life a whole lot easier. If you're trying to chase wild cows, that get out, it's not very fun, but this isn't too bad. They know where they're going. Come on. Come on. Don't make that a habit. And this here is a group of heifers we're gonna be feeding next. 47 here I believe and these are uh, 
uh, future cows. Yeah, these heifers will have a bull turned in with them in January, and they will be calving for the first time in the fall. Um, most of these are, most of these heifers are ones that we have kept back from our own herd, or my dad has kept back from his own herd, and uh, there are nine in here that he purchased, and I'm not really a big fan of those, so, um, yeah, they're one grain, so I'll head back to the house, grab some grain, and I'll be back to these. Anyways, they're all fed and happy here. You might see a couple steers in here. Those are just smaller ones that didn't make the cut to go to the sales barn the last trip. So um, they're growing a little bit more and then we'll take them with the next group. So anyway, these are going to be future cows. They spent their whole life on this property and we'll spend the rest of their life on this property as well. So. And then this group here is our bullpen. We got four bulls in here now. We had just taken them out from the cows. We have two more in a different field off this farm. And those are gonna be caught here soon. Put in, put in the bullpen as well. So we normally don't feed any full grown animals grain here at all. Um, as soon as heifers have been bred, they no longer get feed. Bulls, we normally don't get feed at all. But uh, this bullpen here, it's not too big. It's probably three or four acres. And uh, it's made of all this pipe fence here. Bulls are known to break through fences. So my dad had this pipe fence built so they can't break out. And uh, anyway, they pretty much eaten down whatever grass is in there. They do have some hay, but they don't really want to touch that very very much. So they do get fed some grain just so they can put some more weight on before they get turned back in with the cows. Because they tend to lose quite a bit of weight when they're chasing cows around, so. And these two. These two here, one of my fun groups to feed. So these two calves here no longer have a mother and so because they're not getting milk um, they need to have another protein source and that is grain here so uh, got to feed them once or twice a day. Try to feed them twice a day just to uh, just to keep them growing and happy so. That white one there, he's never liked me too much. He's always kinda been a little skittish. So right now it's about eight o'clock. Um, started at seven, got finished with the feeding chores basically in an hour. And so now the last thing to do this morning um, is check cows that are calving and hopefully none of them have problems. If they have problems, gotta get them in and pull a calf. Um, we've only had to pull one this year out of 80 that have calved so far, I think, so um, pretty good so far. Normally we don't have any calving trouble, but um, that one we had to pull is just way too big for the cow to get out, so time to check some calves. So this field here is cows that haven't calved or cows that have just calved. Um, basically when cows have calves, we move the rest of the group and we leave the cows with calves behind and they stay in their own field. Just so you know which cows have had calves and which haven't. Um, that way if some of them don't calve, we know to get rid of them. And uh, like right here, we'll show you this one here. This cow just calved probably mid last night. And we'll see if she'll let me get close here. Maybe not. 
Um, you can tell. Hey, I'm not hurting him. Don't chase me. So you can tell because she's still got hay now. Hey. She just backed me up into the mud, so. Hey, I'm not hurting him. I'm not hurting him. Anyway, so yes, she has stuff hanging out of her rear end. That's one way you can tell the calf is pretty new. And the other way is, we'll see him get up here, and he's a little wobbly. And he's, his navel is still wet and hasn't dried out yet, so um, you'll see him walk here. It's actually a little heifer. Anyway, so because we rotationally grazed the, the cows here, um, we have probably eight calves that were born the last couple days. And we'll move the rest of the herd to a new field. Leave these behind and, hey, we'll leave these behind and mix them in with the cows that have already calved that we have separate already. So as you can tell, the rest of the cows are out here grazing. Um, one way you can always see if something's going on here, uh, you'll see, you'll see that cow deep in the woods there. Um, she's by herself. That means she's either had a calf or she's about to, or she's having trouble. So. We'll check on her, see if she's got a calf on the ground. If she does, gonna leave her be. I don't wanna stress her out anymore, so. Um, she's ripped out her ear tags, so we won't really know what cow she is. Um, there he is, see the little white head there? Okay, she's got a calf. I'm gonna leave her alone, get out of here. Got three more cows here in the woods. I'll go in and check on those. So I can see one calf there. I'd say he was born yesterday. He's not brand new. This cow, she's not calved yet. Nope, hasn't calved yet. She's just chilling here in the woods where it's cool. And this cow, she's got two babies over here. She's playing nursery. A lot of times you'll have a cow that'll stick with the rest of the calves and just watch them while the other cows are out grazing. So that's what she's doing right now. Before we move on, this next part is kind of graphic. We did find an issue here, so if you don't want to see um, see something gross, hey, skip here a couple seconds and we'll get away from it. So, so for the rest of you that wanted to see this, uh, this cow calved yesterday. Um, this calf was looking fine. It was all healthy yesterday. Um, you may be able to tell. Uh, that's his head right there, his neck is bent back, and his neck's been ripped open. Um, that's a good sign of coyotes killing calf. We've had some coyotes running around that we've seen, but normally cows are pretty good about protecting their calves. All it takes is one... All it takes... Yep, you're sad, I know tough day so anyway it was a good cow uh, but her calf got killed by coyotes how you doing little buddy so this battery we started charging this morning this is going to be going to charge an electric fence uh, we've got a battery on it now but that one needs to be recharged and uh, this one will be its replacement until we can get it charged again, so time to haul it over there. So we're out here on one of the properties. This is 40 acres. It's uh, far away from any of our other um, farm, farm ground. So uh, this one, we just have 20 cows running on it, and we have it divided up 
with electric fence here and it splits it up into four or five different pastures and we got our pond down there issue is today I was just gonna be here replacing a battery but uh that was a bad idea almost electrified this gate which I was holding on to try to be more careful with it and uh Anyway, the cows tore up the fence, and so now I have to fix the electric fence. But I'm going to unhook this battery first, just so I don't accidentally shock myself. And we're going to see what the problem is here. Just one more thing to add to the list. So guys, after I checked cows, I was planning on uh, taking the bush hog out and cleaning up some fields with a lot of weeds in them and ran into an issue never checking everything over yeah it was running low on coolant so gonna put some more in we didn't have any so uh, gonna have to wait till Monday to um, to get that put in and finish up bush hogging for the year but that, that was gonna be the plan today and since this didn't work out, I ended up spraying weeds, and I really didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to take my camera out there and get it covered in, uh, chemicals, so. So anyway, that's what my normal day looks like. Of course, I do go to college classes a couple days a week, and I'll hopefully be graduating this fall and be done with all that. But, um, so for all of you that have made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're new here, I would encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up. With that being said, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.